Welcome back to the Neo Marketing Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk crisis communications again. But this time, we're going to talk about time and response. Welcome to the Golden Group Neo Marketing Podcast, a bi weekly discussion of modern business communication. Kyle, you're fired up today. Always, always, always <laughs> excited to be here on the New Marketing Podcast with my man, Pritch Pritchard. I'm yeah, super buddy. excited. Uh, we the love man, these the professor, the fellow, the pure essay fellow. I'm always excited. A to legend in his own mind. Right. <laughs> uh, well, I, crisis calm. I, got, I keep coming back to it because it's... Uh, it's essential. It's essential. It absolutely is. And there is... Well, I'm teaching a crisis communications class. And so I have my students do a what's hot and what's not right? to try and sensitize them to um, crises and to start thinking like they would as Very PR good. persons. Yeah, it makes right? perfect sense. And so one of the things that, that keeps coming back to my mind is time. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done some research to try and find, is there a magic hour? Is there a magic minute? Is sure. there a magic period of time? There isn't. I can't. I can't find anything that it clinically announces that this is the right amount of time to right. respond. So I'm going to put a marker down, and I'm going back to my military training. And in the military, at least in the Navy, you had a responsibility as a public affairs officer in in an accident or an incident to get that to get public affairs guidance. In other words, your statement and how you're going to approach things. And in dirty questions and clean answers. The, the, I like that term, dirty answers. Well, yeah, yeah. The, you know, the kinds of questions you don't ever want to have asked, but the time to answer them is not when you get it. So yeah. what kind of response should go with that? And to get that document to higher headquarters within an hour. Okay. And so my marker is, even though you have seconds, seemingly seconds, in a social media disaster to respond, I'm going to put a marker down and say, Within an hour. Okay. You had better have a response crafted and out there within an hour. That makes sense. I think it's very doable yes. uh, for professionals to get together and make things happen within an hour. Right. I think anything further than that, because of the speed of, of the way information is delivered these days, probably seems like too long. I think within seconds is way too fast. Way too fast. Uh, and you don't, just don't have enough information. So right. I think, it's a, I think it's a valid timetable. Thanks. If you're trying to respond real time to social media, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because, as you pointed out, you don't have enough information. You don't. It's a, it's a recipe for failure. Uh, and, every time. and people are not going to be happy with, well, I can't tell you anything. Right. right. We had this happen, but I can't tell you right. anything. So an hour gives you time to do your homework, to go find out at least the basics of what happened. And get the and right people involved. Exactly. Too. And And to figure out at least initially, what your organization is going to do to, one, correct the situation, and two, make sure that it doesn't happen again, because that's what people want to hear. That's what people want to know. For sure. Absolutely. There's no reason to put out information that you don't know is the right information. Right. Uh, Right. And some people might view that as an attempt to to cover up something you really didn't want them to know about, if it was accidental or not. Right. Exactly. So... I'm advocating for taking the time. Set that one-hour time limit mm-hmm. in your in your crisis protocol because right. you know how I feel about it's plans. Right. It's not plans; it's protocols. It's a protocol, but set that timeline, and and in the end, trust me on this one, you're gonna f- you're gonna like the results a lot better. It's like Men's Warehouse; you're gonna like the way you feel. Hey, folks, that's why we call him the professor because he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he's the PRSA. Uh, professional for sure in this one. So listen to what the man is saying. Seconds, minutes, too fast. Too fast. More than an hour, More you're probably hour, behind the curve. You're shooting yourself. And, and if you can't pull this off, I'm going to lay this challenge on you. Okay. You're right. I'm fired up this morning. I'm always yeah. looking to challenge people on this show and everything I do, right? If you feel like... I'm having a drink coffee people, to keep up with you. That's right. I've had <laughs> many cups of If you feel like an hour... To respond to any crisis, and this could be something as simple as the CEO said something stupid on TV through a criminal or, or natural disaster or some other right. act that that is really a 
capturing the news cycle or right. anything in between. But if you're the PR professional, if you're getting paid to handle public relations and communications in an organization of any sort, whether it's two people or 2,000, and you think you can't get this accomplished within an hour because it's an emergency and you get to drop everything else you're doing, right. exactly. get the right people lined up and, and have a at least, and not a perfect response, but a correct initial response. Yep. If you don't think you can do that in an, a, in an hour, tell your boss to hire someone else. You'll find yourself an easier job. Absolutely. Or. And it's not for well, everybody. Wait, I, you know, no, no, just, no. It's wait, not wait, for I everybody. Hard challenge with, so, or go find someone to mentor you and get yourself prepped up for it. Because if you're going to have that job title, if you're going to have the responsibility, yeah. you're going to be a member of that team, you need right. to be able to perform at this level or you're doing your employer a disservice. Well, again, that that's the value of networking. You don't have to networking. quit your job, but you better go get the skills if you don't have them. Get the skills <laughs> right. and confidence if you don't have them. Right, exactly. Or or find an organization that you can lean on. That's right. Shameless plug. Right. Hey. Um, uh, but find a mentor, exactly right, if you're not comfortable. And it's not for everybody. Crisis communication is tough. It's Absolutely. in the moment. You have to be fast on your feet. And that's not for everybody. And that's cool. But find a mentor. Find somebody who you can have that conversation with. So a good chunk of the foundation of public relations is relationships. Absolutely. Right? So you should have relationships with those in your company, right? The people you're working with, the yep. people you would need to bring to the table or yep. to the phone conversation, or whatever it is, in order to manage the crisis yep. communication. But you also should be having man, uh, relationships with with your media outlet, with your media resources, with influencers, with outside third party, your consultant class, if you right. will, right. people who do this for a living, uh, the professors, the top level folks at your peer SA and things of that nature. Yeah. You should know who to reach out to for either specifically what does the company need to say here right. because you know the chain of command, the protocols in your business, or if you're not even sure how to start that process, you should have a mentor or someone you know in the community that you know has the experience. Yes. But you could say, I don't even know where to start, but I know in the next five or 10 minutes, I'm going to be asked this. I'm going to call Pritch or I'm going to call Kyle. I'm going to call someone else I know that I met at PRSA. Or right. heck, I'm going to go to the PRSA website and find out who the current president, president or is. director of communication right. is. I'm right. going to call them and say, hey, right. I'm a PR professional. I'm in this jam. Can you give me some basic guidance as to where I need to start Take that information, go back to your internal processes and start talking Absolutely. to who you need to talk to about what it is you need to communicate. Absolutely. If you don't understand that and if you don't have those relationships, now you're back to this part of you're, you're doing a disservice to your employer. You need to go work on this now before the emergency happens. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I think, if you guys get anything out of this podcast today, is you need to be prepared like that. You need yep. to be not just prepared internally with your protocols or a document if you need a document. Decorate, right. Writing a document. <laughs> but you also need your relationships your people you can bring in for different scenarios. And you need to think about what those scenarios are and who you would call if these things happen yeah. before the emergency, before yeah. the stress of the situation, yeah. right? And I, I'm going to go back and push back at you. Okay. If you had better have a relationship with somebody who's – advice that you, you can trust yes. Yes. and somebody that you can call right now because right. if you cold call somebody it, you don't late. have enough time it's a little late at, it's the very, too late at the very least like i say you just can't call your local prsa office or the local right. university and i mean push them. comes to shove and that's all you got that that's fine but, but if i have been if i've attended some prsa meetings uh, or other professional organizations, if I've met someone like Pritch, like the reason I, I'm going to call Pritch is because I know him, yeah. because I've seen him speak at PRSA. I've maybe met him once, even if it's literally is, hey, uh, Professor Pritchard, uh, you don't know me. I met you one time when you spoke at this thing. I'm a PR professional. Uh, I'm not a student of yours, but this is what's happening. If you at least have that icebreaker, yes. as opposed to look, I looked you up in the yellow pages, right? <laughs> right. Does anyone use the yellow? Like pages? I said, I if that's you, all I you got, you, right? If someone calls me out of the blue, hey, I have an emergency happening today. Well, you're not a client of mine. How did you find me? You Googled me, and maybe Pritch or I had spoke on because we talked about this, or maybe you found this podcast yeah. and you thought you're going to call me up on the fly. I might be able to help you, and you might be able to help them in that moment. You may not. You may be in class. I may be traveling. Right. I may be with a client that's right. more because they're already paying me. But let me tell you this. If you get me on the phone, and you want me to help you fix your situation in the next five minutes, and you really don't know what you're doing or where to start, you have no other relationships, and you're in a hole, 
I could fix it for you. Right. Pritch could fix it for you. Right. It's going to cost you. <laughs> yeah. It's going to cost you right. a lot of money. But if you'd had relationships, if you're going to regular meetings, professional organizations around, because if you're a PR professional, you should be going to PRSA. Exactly. If you're a marketing professional, you'd be in something like AMA or IBC exactly. or something like this, right? If you're doing those things beforehand, yep. if you're developing your career and developing yourself as a professional, yep. then you know who to call and you at least say, hey, you know who I am, right? As opposed to, I just go to work, I collect a paycheck, I go home, I don't try very yeah. hard, I don't invest myself in these other yeah. things. You're not gonna you're not gonna succeed Man. in your career anyways if that's your attitude. And how unfulfilling that is. Right. Amazing. What's the point? What's the point right. of being it's a, a JOB if that's your approach? Yeah. I, it's easier to flip burgers for right. sure. Folks, it may sound like we're trying to get at you a little bit, especially our young professionals or people straight out of school. It's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to give you information and ideas that you put into play as you develop yourself for your own career, you have to be thinking short-term, mid-term, long-term. If you're not developing these relationships and building yep. your career this way, yep. it's, it's, it's holding you back. And we don't want you to be held back. We want you to succeed in your career. Exactly. Okay, so we talked about, I put a marker down and said one hour. Absolutely. That's the time. I like it. That's the time limit. Mm -hmm. The other, th I, I very seldomly use always or never. I, I understand why. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put another marker down and go. say there is never a time to avoid responding to a crisis. I like that. Okay. I agree. I, I mentioned in, I do the what's hot, what's not in class. Right. And, and this got me thinking. Yesterday, one of the what's not was the response LaCroix had to the – or didn't have <laughs> – to the lawsuit alleging that they had ingredients that are also in cockroach insecticide. Right. As and they're all natural, natural products. products. Yes. Right. Well, obviously, the lawyer around that decision making table won that contest because they haven't said squat, zip, nada, nilch, nothing. That is unacceptable. And absolutely off brand for them. Absolutely off brand the, for them. The, the people who uh, are enjoy that product and who are brand ambassadors. I know people that, you know, walk around with like, you got to try this. You got to try this. Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. You know, they're, they're literally their Facebook page is them holding a can up. Right? Like I drink it all day long. That loyal audience expects Expect communication. Something. Exactly. It's not a passing audience. It's a very right. loyal audience. And yeah. you need to treat them the way they expect to be treated. Well, and, and if you want other people to try your product, right. you have to do something to respond to that heinous headline. I mean, headline writers are the bane of our existence anyway, but you, you have to do something. You have to say something. Right. And I get it. I, it sounds like I'm bashing lawyers. No, I, I always strive to have a great relationship with a lawyer. It's that word again, relationships. To avoid this kind of a situation. Absolutely. I get it. The lawyer doesn't want to say anything. We got a lawsuit. You say anything, it's going to be used against you in court. You know the Miranda rights. So let's just say nothing. Well, I'm sorry. There is a court of public opinion as well. Which could be much more damaging. Darn right. You know, you, you might have a $2,000, $10,000, $200,000, whatever, half a million, million dollar settlement in court. Right. But if everyone, whoever liked your product, now doesn't. Doesn't. It's going to cost you more than that million dollar settlement. You it's bet going to you. Cost you it's going to cost everything. you the company. It's going to cost you your reputation, Absolutely. which is everything. Absolutely. And there are just too many instances where people have had much more serious situations, legally speaking, that they've been able to, to address as many issues as they can and at least communicate the, these other things are ongoing, yeah. et cetera. It's, st right. it's still a process you have to engage in. Even if you literally want to say, we can't say anything, you have to start there because saying nothing at all, it gives the absolute worst impression. That's right. You're avoiding it. You're guilty. You're trying to cover it up. I pick your poison. That it's, doesn't happen in 2018. It's, it's just, not good. We're all too exactly. Communication exactly. Line. So two markers today. Two for the price of one. Wow! wow. Double down. <laughs> Doubling down. One hour to get your response out. Right. And then there is never a time to avoid saying something. And I agree with both of those. So there you go. Fantastic ideas. We challenged you we guys wanted, today. We did. We did, but we like it. We do it because we love you. We would love to hear your comments, especially on our Double Down, and uh, see what you have to say about that. Absolutely. Hit us up on social media. However you found this show, there are comments below. Make a comment. 
We'll uh, try to respond there on social media, or we might address it in the next we could. episode Absolutely so. of the Neo Marketing Absolutely Podcast. Absolutely so. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode. Until then, good luck. Ciao.